If you go, then I'll be blue. What's breaking up is hard to do. For people who might have missed it, Ed, can you just kind of narrate? We're going to roll it and have you talk about this was after the debate this moment between Elizabeth Warren and uh, Bernie Sanders. Tom Steyer happens upon the scene. This is, this is one of those things that we love about politics that we wish they'd leave the camera up C-SPAN style, but they didn't. I want to show the, this video that occurred at the end of the debate. You sort of ended up in the middle of this, uh, I don't know, by <laughs> chance or, or what. Um, what was that like? What, what, was, what, what occurred there? Uh, it, it's obviously already being talked about it quite a lot. Look, I was just going up to say good night. <laughs> 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 And I felt like, okay, there's something going on here. Good night, I'm out of here. <laughs> this case, looked like they were all shaking hands. And Elizabeth Warren shakes Joe Biden's hand and then heads for Bernie Sanders. And clearly, as the tape shows us here, if only we had a telestrator, uh, yeah. they, they, they were clearly we trying to... lip reading. <laughs> they were, yeah, what we need is a lip reader because they were clearly having words. What, what, what were they arguing? What they were, were they... I really wasn't listening. I, what? How can uh, you not hear Bernie Sanders? <laughs> they were talking about getting together or something. I really didn't listen. Were they talking about getting like, together last you know, year when they were... They didn't look like they were getting together. <laughs> <laughs> I really... It was one of those awkward moments where I felt like, you know, I need to I move felt bad on for as you. fast as possible. <laughs> and if you know Bernie Sanders, you know that when he throws up his hands like that, he's had enough of you, he's disagreeing with you, and he wants nothing more to do with you. And you notice they didn't shake hands there, they turned backs on each other and, t and went away. Now I asked myself when CNN was asking the question, why are they carrying water for her? I think the corporate media generally would prefer Elizabeth Warren to Bernie Sanders. I mean, they, the media and the Democratic Party stole the election from him in 2016, so they probably don't want him to win in 2020 either. That's part of it. Steyer just happened upon yeah, this, yeah. like I said, like a kid walking in on his parents having an awkward conversation <laughs> and clearly tried to back away from it, realizing that what was going on there was a little too hot and something that didn't involve him. I said, how, how are they being so flagrant about it? How are they being so obvious that they're saying, Bernie Sanders, why did you say this? Elizabeth, I didn't say this. Elizabeth Warren, how did you feel when he said this? Why, how are they being so, so blatant about it? And I think it's because of the Me Too movement. The whole idea behind the Me Too movement is we have to believe all women. That's the hashtag, right? Hashtag believe all women. Women can never lie. Men can lie because the, the lying gene is on the Y chromosome, but women, they can't lie. Even though men can be women and women can be men and chromosomes don't matter at all and biology is nothing, but it's very, very confusing in leftist ideology. But the claim of the Me Too movement is we have to believe all women. Men cannot get due process. If a man and a woman are making con con contrasting claims, you've got to believe the woman. So yeah. we'll spend a lot of time analyzing that and trying to figure yeah, out our, what it is. Our body language experts and, and on I the think, case. And here. I know our team's <laughs> trying to figure out what exactly yeah. was said. Right. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Breaking up is hard to do